My name is Carmen Johnson and I was diagnosed with breast cancer in the spring of 1999. In April of 1999 I was up one morning getting ready for work, putting on my bra and I felt the lump right on my right side and it was very obviously something different and I have to say I was not doing breast self-exam so I think that's what frightened me at first that this is something I could have found out much sooner if I had been doing breast self-exam but I'm thankful that I found it by accident and of course it was confirmed by a mammogram and I'm I don't say that to put mammograms down but I say that to encourage young girls to do their breast self-exam to find these lumps as soon as possible or to recognize something different as soon as possible. Well, at first I had to have a biopsy to make sure it was cancerous and it was. Then I had a lumpectomy and a lumpectomy is a procedure where they go in and take out the lump and they look to see if there's a clear margin of no cancer cells around the lump. I did not get a clear margin so my husband and I talked about it and I have to say he was my full-time buddy through all of that and has been for almost 20 years now. Um, we decided just to go ahead and have a, a full mastectomy. We weren't going to play around with taking more margin out around that lump. It, just too many surgeries, too risky, no guarantee that they'd get a clear margin, so we elected to have the mastectomy. And I always give credit to my husband. There's nothing like having a buddy. If you don't have a husband, get somebody, a partner, your neighbor, your uncle, grandma, anybody that can go to visits with you. One time my husband actually leaned over the desk and told the receptionist, you will find a sooner appointment for my wife than that. What I learned about myself as a result of this experience is that I can take a lot of pain. I'm much stronger than I thought I was. I, I can't believe that I did this. Um, looking back on it, it was very terrifying. And now, eight years later, it seems like it was, it was just a piece of cake. My life is different today from before cancer diagnosis in that I don't worry about little stuff as much as I used to. I don't worry about the dust and the papers and my books piling up. My husband worries about it, but I don't. A lot of small things, I try not to let them bother me like they used to. I, I used to be much more sensitive and I try not to be. I just find life is too short. Oh well, some, someone disagrees with me, they disagree with me, but I'm not going to get upset about it. What is it that you would want to tell someone who comes to this site and clicks on your video? What is it that you want to say to that person? The lump is not going to go away just because you don't talk about it. Uh, and that's especially true in the African American community and many communities of color. I think we think if we don't talk about something it'll go away and that's just not going to happen if you really do have a lump. Maybe you have a passing cyst, maybe you have a benign lump, but you won't know unless you get it checked out. And I mostly want women to know that cancer, any type of cancer, and breast cancer in particular, is not a death sentence. Is there a light at the end of the tunnel for these women? There sure is. You can be just as beautiful as we are.